Today, I'm going to show you guys how to link your NiceHash account with NiceHash Miner. So maybe you just got a new PC like I did recently, and you want to make sure that any existing BTC you had in NiceHash transfers over to your new PC, and also all of your statistics and basically all your settings and everything transfers over to your new PC, or maybe you're on the same PC, but the app was giving you issues, so you uninstalled the miner and reinstalled it, and you need to learn how to link your account back up. Let's do it. Alrighty guys, share my screen here. This is a article here that's actually on the NiceHash website, but I do want to give some additional information as to what they give here. So there are three ways to link your account. I'm going to go over which one's the best, which one's the second best, and which one is kind of niche. It's only going to be for certain situations. So first of all, login credentials. This one is extremely simple. The first time you launch NiceHash Miner on your new PC, or again, same PC, but you just installed the application, you will be prompted to log in. Now you're going to enter the same uh, email and password that you had in your initial account. And that should automatically bring up all your save settings, all your uh, historical graphs of when you were mining. So you can see what your profitability used to be. And also, most importantly, if you do still have BTC sitting in, in your nice hash wallet, which I don't really recommend that you do for very long. Um, what I like to do is once a month at the very latest, generally when I get to the $100, $100 threshold, which for me uh, is usually three times a month, it, usually uh, about a week and a half or so, when I hit that $100 threshold, I'll withdraw that to Coinbase. And then from there, I'll either, you know, day and swing trade over there in Coinbase, or if I'm going to be holding on to that BTC for the long run, which a lot of times with BTC is my, my strategy is just to hold it for the long game. Uh, I put it in my hard wallet here, which is a Ledger Nano S. I have reviewed this on the channel. Fantastic device. That is linked down there in the description below. But it's very simple. You just log in and your account should pop up. The second one is to link a Bitcoin wallet address. Now, this one I'd be a little bit leery of because if you are if you enter it wrong just by one digit, and you know Bitcoin addresses are long. They're very long, sister. So if you accidentally enter it incorrectly, you're going to be mining for no reason. Some random Bitcoin address is going to be receiving your coins. Not to mention the only reason I could see wanting to manually change and enter another Bitcoin address would be if for some reason your account had been compromised. But when you log into your account, if you've had a previous NiceHash account and it was not compromised or anything, the integrity is still intact. When you log in, your Bitcoin address should still be good to go. And this is separate from, you know, withdrawing to a hard wallet or something like that, because when it goes into the little nice hash holding pool or whatever with your, your funds, your BTC that you've mined, it sits there. And then when you do withdraw, it'll give you the option there on the withdraw screen to do either transfer it to Coinbase or to withdraw it to a uh, third party address, in which case I can type in my ledger address and have it sent there. But if you do want to do this meth method, you're going to run nice hash miner, but instead of clicking login, you're going to hit enter Bitcoin address manually. Then you're going to copy the Bitcoin address, uh, your Bitcoin address. So out of your uh, ledger application, or if you have a Trezor external, then out of the Trezor app and paste that in there. And that is one way to log in. Now, this one down here, I would say this one is probably the best because this is going to get you set up with the desktop app and the mobile app. And I do recommend both. I'll explain why in just a sec here. So download the NiceHash iOS or Android app, which, by the way, it's a very, very good app. It's like very good user interface, very easy to navigate. It looks cosmetically pleasing to the eye. And most importantly, it gives you all the information, more or less, um, just about all the information as the dashboard on the PC, which is really phenomenal. And when you're in bed or something, I check sometimes just to make sure my temps are still good on my VRAM and whatnot and check my, it gives me a little warm and fuzzy before I go to bed to see my hash rate hasn't dipped down or anything. So, so that's nice. Small victories in life, boys. So to do that, you're going to download the phone app and then log in with your nice hash account from there. So again, you're going to need to know your, your email address that you use to sign up and your password, uh, which, you know, a lot of times Google will just save it for you anyway, uh, which is Kind of a good and a bad thing. I mean, technically, you only need to remember like your Google password and then you have like all your hundreds of passwords in there. But if somebody were to get that one password, then all your shit's compromised, which is not a good day for you. Then you're going to click on the QR. I like how they say click. It's more of tap on a phone, right? You're going to tap on the QR icon on the top right of the mining tab in the mobile app. So if I go to my mining tab 
Guess what? It ain't there. That's on my mining tab right there. Can you see that? Probably not. Shitty ass webcam. Uh, but yeah, there's nothing up there. That's because I'm already logged in. But if you're not logged in, you're going to see a little QR code on the mining tab. You're going to scan that QR code provided by NiceHash on your PC. So you're going to scan on your phone the QR code, the QR code that pops up on your PC. And then you're going to hit confirm scan. And that'll link up your accounts. But uh, I didn't do it this way. I just logged in on my PC and then manually typed in my password, logged in on my cell phone. I don't know. I don't type like that. But anyway, um, and logged in on my phone. And, you know, if I would have known about this feature that I could have just typed, uh, tapped in the top top right of the screen and then scanned the QR code and it would have linked up the PC and the phone, I probably would have done that. But yeah. Very simple, guys. If you get a new PC or you ended up wiping your old application because it was just running crappy or something or you accidentally installed it and you reinstalled it or something like that, you now know how to link up your account. So easy day, guys. If this short little tutorial helps you out, liking the video greatly supports my channel. It kind of ticks the YouTube algorithm and helps my videos to get seen by more people. Subscribe for more content like this. I do a lot of tutorials around cryptocurrency as well as news in the gaming community and industry. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.